This playthrough is rated T for teen. It's time for Hyde to become the Master Finder. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Von Arbeck here with another episode of Hotel Dusk in the last episode. We found the restaurant and had good eatings. Now it's time to get on out of here and get back to our room. You hide. Hey, there's someone behind me. I wonder who, oh, I hear someone behind me. I wonder who could that be. Sometimes I mix up my voices. Who's there? Yeah, the guy who was standing there at the front of the restaurant the whole time. What do you think was going to happen? What's up, man? You here for some more grub? No, I was just escorting someone to the restaurant. Escorting? What you talking about? The old lady from 212. Her name's Helen. Helen. Sweet Helen. Oh, wait. She asked me to, uh, she asked me to help her down here. Check you out. Call Hodge, savior of the elderly. Shut your head, Louie. I just did your job for you. Well, thanks for the solid. Hey, check this, Hyde. Boosted this up off the floor of the restaurant. It was right under your table, man. It's your pen, right? I mean, it was under your table and all. Uh, I mean, don't just shove that in my face, dude. Well, Alright, I'll take a look at it, I guess. I got a pen. I take a fountain pen from Louie. Nope, not mine. Really? Figured I'll be yours, man. That's harsh. Wonder who it belongs to. Maybe the old lady. Oh, wait, no, the little lady wasn't in there. I don't know. Look here. There are words carved into the body of the pen. There are moon letters here. See? Oh, hey, you're wall, my man. But it worn down and all the ink's gone. I can't read it. I can't either. Ah. Uh, God, I almost forget her voice line. Louie, Louie Denona, I need your help right now. Get in here. Chop, chop. Great, Mama Sass is on my case again. Better go see what she wants now. Good thinking. Louie runs off towards the kitchen. Hmm. Wonder how I can read this engraving. Now, there are actually two ways to read the engraving for it. We could either go into the kitchen, and there's some flour we can dunk the pin into to solve it, or we could go the other way, which... Either way is viable. Uh, most people are more aware of this one, weirdly enough, than the flower one. But, yeah, I like the fact that there's a couple solutions to this. Um, yeah, I remember checking the uh, thing earlier. There's a chalkboard near the entrance to the restaurant. And remember there was, like, loose chalkboard or whatever where we clicked there? There's some chalk line below the board. Yeah, we can take a look at that, but that's not... A couple pieces of chalk. But what we want to do is we want to uh, equip the uh, pin we just got. Where are you? There's a piece of chalk here. There's some chalk powder here, too. Here we go. I put a little of it on my finger. If you do the flower thing, you uh, dunk it in the flower. Now we just have to powder the pin. Got to get it all over that thing. Just get get it all over. Just cover the pen, and then we blow it off. I uh, uh, I think uh, on uh, official versions you could use the mic, but in this case I only have to use the stylus to rub it off. So, I mean I could use the mic. There is a button for that. So, at least what I'm using anyway. To Alan with love. Alan, who's Alan? Alan Grant? Uh-oh, gonna have to deal with dinosaurs. Maybe Louie knows. Alright, back into the room we go. We were just gone. We just had dinner. Yeah, like I said, we could have gone to the uh, kitchen to get some flour. But... Actually, the flour one seems to make more sense than the chalk one, just because people would probably think flour first than anything. But but when I played, that the chalk was the first thing I thought of. So, Hey, Louie, I read the writing on the pen. You did? So what's it say, man? To Alan with love. Alan? Yeah. Kind of reminds me of uh, Jurassic Park 3. Not a very good movie, but there's a few funny moments in it. Anyone staying here tonight named Alan? I don't know. I'll have to check with the old man Dunnan. Do it. I want to find out who owns this pen. Hold on to it for a bit, will you? I don't know. That just seemed pretty aggressive. I don't know why. Sure, man. Yeah, Louie's just all agreeable and everything like that. Alright, now can I leave? Please? Can we get out of here? Can we be done with this nonsense? But anyway, let's uh, head on to uh, 
Uh, let's head on back to the uh, upstairs to the second floor. All right, anyway, sorry. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. Let's go back to our room. I got distracted for a second. I was looking at something. So, oh, yeah, what about that damn doll? I guess I'll give it back to uh, the kid. Oh, yeah, we had that doll from Melissa's uh, back a hot minute ago. So we can go back to uh, her room, So which is, if you remember, 219. Let's go ahead and give the kid this creepy doll. Hello? Avon calling. Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's me. Got a sec, kid? My dad's not here. Hmm, where did her dad go? Probably went to the bathroom or something with it. Oh, wait, don't all rooms have bathrooms? Never mind. I'm here to see you. Well, that's not creepy at all. What? You forgot something in the restaurant. Yeah, let's uh, give her, her the, the doll. There it is, the rag doll. The Raggedy Ann doll. I wonder if they could get sued for that. This is yours, right? No. It's okay, take it. I don't have cooties or anything like that. Thank, thank you. My mom made this. It must be pretty important to you. Uh-huh. Then maybe you shouldn't throw it at people? Okay, sorry. Yeah, that's what you get. So where did your dad go, anyway? So where's your old man run off to? I don't know. I've been a brat. Hey, at least you admit it. Most kids will never admit that they're brats. I'm sure he went somewhere so he didn't have to see me anymore. He hates me. I doubt that. Otherwise, he would have dumped you into, like, an orphanage or something like that if he really hated you. Yeah, but he's always all mad at me and stuff. Well, I mean, you just said you're a brat, so... Parents have to keep their kids in line. It's part of the job. Part of the job? Don't worry about it. See you around. Oh, now what, kid? Yeah, what's wrong, kid? Don't don't go, please. Just stay here until my dad gets back. Maybe you can lock the door. And this hotel really doesn't have any creeps. Not really. I mean, maybe Louie to an extent, but what? Listen, kid, I'm not a babysitter. Oh, please. Oh, fine. Wow, that didn't take very much. Kyle, do you have any scruples at all? Hmm. Oh, a nice room, I guess. So, looks just like every other room in this place. What do we got here? Got lights. Whoops. Sorry, I was clicking on the wrong thing. Can't go into the toilet. All right. I guess we should talk to the kid. Uh, they got. Uh, it seems like they, got, they have all the amenities. You know, brochure, TV, table, stuff like that. So, well, all right. Do you have anything to say, kid? Or I know. Let's do a puzzle. What do you mean that puzzle? That's like really easy. Oh hell no! I know how this goes. The puzzle's on the table. Let's play over there. Play? I don't know if you can really play puzzles, but okay, whatever. Where is it? Oh, it's that puzzle box. All right. Let's take a look at that, I guess. Oh, anything else? Let's uh, click on anything. See if he has any neat dialogue. There's a wooden chair. How fun. <laughs> that sounds like me some days. That's a lamp. It's tall, and I'm the king of the obvious. <laughs> well, you know, I kind of say stuff to, that, to myself, too, sometimes. Not in the exact same quote, but there's a frame on the wall. I'm stating the obvious. I don't know why that was kind of funny to me. There's a wooden chair. It's pretty boring. Now, I usually don't say stuff like that, but... Okay, I was just seeing if there was anything else. Nope, all right, let's click the puzzle box. The obvious solution. It's a puzzle box. All right, let's open this sucker and call it a day. There's a jigsaw puzzle on the table. Oh, yeah, it's this thing, okay. All right. Oh, we have to, we have to solve this legit, huh? All right. I've got this. I could do this. Let's see. Yeah. That's probably it. We'll put that to the side. And yeah, we put that to put the put that bunny together. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, does it? No, it looks like that should. No, not quite. Okay. Yeah, we can. Let's see. Usually, the easiest way to do puzzles is to get um, 
in pieces like this first and then kind of go from there that's usually the easiest way to go on puzzles let's see no that's a probably a bottom piece actually probably goes there yep that goes there uh, let's see if you have trouble with this i feel bad for you viewers let's see okay that's on the side so that goes there and yeah it's automatically locking into place so you don't have to worry about um worry about it let's about to say that looks like that went there so yeah unfortunately i can't do like super fast because i still have to abide by the rules of the uh let's just pull out all the all the pieces first oh, okay there's another in piece that goes there or side piece i mean it probably goes on the top somewhere let's see probably goes like right here or something like that and it will leave in the general area man that bunny thing is so creepy look at that thing it's scary man it's scary there we go oh, no nope, that goes up one more one more bit at least that's what it seems like to me so yep probably well we'll leave that for now so all right that goes over there how did I? Oh, is it the wrong? Oh, right. Up one more. Yeah. There's the corner. Oh, that could be. Actually, that could be on the side. Yep. Yep, that's on the side. That's. I was like, for a second, I was like, that should go somewhere there. He was like, oh, right, right, right. Let's see. That goes. Yeah, too bad there's like no music here, so it's just kind of like dead. It's almost kind of creepy when you think about it. There we go, over there. Yep, oh, yep. And finally, the piece de la resistance. Oh, whoops. Voila! Although that looks a little off to me, but whatever. Got it. <laughs> you seem so smug, Hyde, for someone who solved a children's puzzle. But uh, you know, I won't. I won't say anything if you don't. You know, as they say. So. Oh my gosh, you're so great. Great indeed, huh? I'm the master of puzzles. I'm the puzzle master. That was too easy for you, wasn't, Mister? I mean, if I was actually doing this legit, I would just, you know, um, you know, put it down and boom, boom, boom. But. With he says a little, or something like that. He's great. You know the name of the rabbit on this puzzle? Um, Mr. Rabbit? Nope. Wow, you... Okay, you need to, like, calm down on this kid. You know, just... just Calm down, Mr. Hyde. You know? That you made that up. Yeah, don't tell a kid. Don't tell a kid what you're, what you're doing or all that stuff, so... Yeah. Well, if you care, the rabbit's real name is Pinky Rabbit. Pinky Rabbit? That's right. Pinky had his own cartoon when uh, when I was growing up. I bet your mom watched it when she was a kid, too. Well, everyone has that, like, one... Um, everyone has that, like, one, um, you know, children's show they had when they were a kid, you know. I'm not sure what the... I mean, I had a lot of children's shows as a kid, especially cartoons and stuff like that. I pretty much grew up on cartoons. So I could just name all, all the ones from the 80s and 90s, the ones you see on YouTube all the time with, like, compilations. You pretty much get the gist of, like, what I grew up on. But anyway, I digress. When my mom was a little? Yeah, your mom and dad were kids once, too. Everybody starts out as a kid, you know. Lies. I never started out as a kid. I was a full-grown man right out of the womb. Yeah, I guess. My mom gave this to me for my birthday. Yeah, when's your birthday? June 29th. June, huh? So that was your... So, was your birthday fun? What? What is it? That's the day my mom left so... Ugh. Left on your birthday? That, that kind of... Uh, yeah, that's not very good. Oh. Why do you think my mom... Why do you think she never said anything, huh? Why, why? Well, she was either a terrible person or she had some, like, like major depression or some mental disorder or something like that. Probably all, or it could be all three. 
Why'd she go away? Why does everyone I love go away? Wait a minute, on the back of that puzzle piece. Oh yeah, remember way, way back? Way back in the day or whatever, so, hmm. How do we check the back of this thing? Well, the DS has a weird function on it where you have to like close the lid and open it again. So with with what I'm doing, I have to do it a little bit differently. So I have to press a button here. So we close the DS, which is why it has a white screen here. Then we open it back up and it uh, flips it. Yeah, as you can see, I don't know if you could tell. It says goodbye, Melissa, by the way. it You could tell it's the shape of your DS and you're supposed to flip the screen to flip the puzzle. I get what they're doing. It's kind of clever in a weird way, but when you're pl when you're playing the way I am, I I had to figure out like how do I flip this thing, you know? And luckily there's a button for that. So there's a message written on the back of the puzzle. Goodbye, Melissa. So she did say something, but still something made her leave. So she wrote this. She wasn't planning on coming home. She could have had a disease too, not just mental. Huh? No, it's her dad. Finally showed up. Mr. Hyde, what are you doing here? You're playing. Yeah, playing with an old man? That's not bad or creepy, though. I told you not to let anyone into our room. Huh. Hey, don't yell at the kid. I mean, she's the he's the father, so... Pardon me, I, but I've had quite enough of... I let myself in. She didn't do anything wrong. Sorry, didn't mean to step on any toes. Well, as long as you know how I feel, I guess there's no problem. Now, please leave. Yeah, I'm going, but let me ask you something. You worried about Melissa? Well, I hope so. He's the father, but you know, some people are just not like that. Some people have a kid and just never get that like sense of uh, protectiveness or caring or whatever. You'd be surprised how often that happens with people where they have a kid, but they just they don't change to represent the fact they have to care for another human being after that. So. Usually having a pet is a good start, and then you go on to children if you want to know if you're good at that or not. Um, you worried about having something Melissa may have told me? Well, specifically, I was wondering if you talked about her mother. Um, yeah, yeah, we did. If you didn't talk about anything in particular, that's fine, too. Uh, yeah, what are you... Yeah, let's not ask about the life leaving, so... What's the story with the kid's mother? Is it that she uh, is it that she's not coming home? What? Melissa, what have you been telling Mr. Hyde about your mother? Damn it! Damn it all! You just don't want people to listen in on this personal business, Mr. Hyde. Every family has its own circumstances which dictate its existence. Your knowledge of my family comes from the mouth of a child. Please remember that when drawing conclusions and passing judgment. I'm a detective. I'm supposed to pass judgment. We, you know, but okay. Now I can ask. I mean, you could. I could ask the other way earlier. It just seemed to be more appropriate that way. So why did the kid's mom leave? Pardon. Wife left you, right? Left me. What'd you do? I mean, why did she take off and leave you and the kid? Mr. Hyde, this isn't the place to talk about this. Hold it. Easy, pal. No need to get in the leather. Yeah, you got a problem, pal? Let's let's fight it out. Mm, fisticuffs. Yeah, hey, mano, hey, mano. No. Easy. Don't scare Melissa, Dan. Keep her voice down. What? I think you're scaring the kid. Dad? Melissa. Don't look at me like that. And the kids look at... <laughs> Kids look at people all sorts of ways. Well, I mean, I like how Mr. Hyde kind of does his own look, too. He's like, Mr. Hyde, I'm going to ask you to leave. Sorry, I accidentally multi-clicked on that, so. So, all right, we got to get out of here, so. There's something odd about Kevin and Melissa. Well, there's a lot of things odd about everyone here, really, when you think about it. All right. Got to track down that bookmark for summer. Yep, back to the room. 6.40 p.m. Yeah. Too bad I can't do the voice from uh, Dracula Unleashed. I need to play that one of these days for Halloween. It's a fun little point-click adventure game uh, based on um, uh, Dracula and uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula and all that stuff. So. Anyway, go back to the room. 
guess I should check out the box summer's notebook came in see if a bookmarks there we're gonna have another little puzzle by the way this one can be kind of annoying if you don't do it right or whatever so wait which back which package was it again was it this one okay so we need to have this uh, let's see let's try you're supposed to basically turn it around and knock the box there we go and knock it and then so you can um, pull the thing out so if you don't know how to do that so come on come on there we go yeah don't accidentally hit the back button otherwise you have to do that all over again huh it's a bookmark of an angel I've heard some people take quite a hot minute to get that puzzle to work or whatever but no we know what we're doing sort of I sort of know what I'm doing okay I don't know what I'm doing but I'll, I'll, I can I can hum a few bars this must be Summer's bookmark I found a bookmark in the bottom of the cardboard box there's a picture of an angel on it are you an angel I wonder who painted it so this is the angel huh guess I should take it back to summer all right let's uh, head back to uh, his room and give it back to him so all right back back away back away all that was pretty easy to do huh it's almost like this it's almost like this was inconsequential like we didn't need to even have this happen but uh, whatever all right let's head to room 211 I believe that's where the uh, good Mr. Summer said he stayed. Hello? Oh, Mr. Hyde. Got a minute? Uh, did you perchance happen to find my bookmark? Yep. Or, yeah. You did? Splendid. Yeah, let's, uh... Alright, let's, uh, ask him some questions before we do that. Who painted the bookmark, anyway? That was pretty neat. Hey, there's a picture on the bookmark. You know who did it? Ah, oh, you noticed. Breathtaking, isn't it? Yes, I'm quite fond of this particular piece. It's a reproduction of a very famous painting. Are you unfamiliar with it? The original was painted by a man named Osterzone. Osterzone? What kind of name is that for a painter? I know painters are weird and artistic types, but, uh, you know. Like, Osterzone? In the 80s? Alright. That must have been a hippie name or something like that. This work is considered to be the pinnacle of his artistic achievement. There are many rumors surrounding the painting, painter known as Osterzone. I think when the first time I played this game, I, even I was taken aback by the name. I was like, Osterzone? What the heck? In fact, I intend to use his life story as the basis for my next mystery novel. Did you get the rights to it or ask his family if that was okay? Yes, I think it should be quite good, actually. He might have been the, in the public eye, though. Some, unfortunately, usually if you're in the public eye or whatever, there's like some something about like uh, people can talk about you or write about you because you've made yourself aware to the public and you've basically given up almost your privacy to, to an extent. I forgot what the ruling on that is, but anyway. So who is Osterzone? What is Osterzone? How is Osterzone? What kind of painter was this Osterzone guy? Ah, oh, now you come to the meat of it, for Osterzone was a true enigma. Yeah, like most artists say they are. The mysteries of his life, much like those in his art, both entice and fascinate. We do know that he has a British he was a British painter from the late 19th century. And the angel painting you see on this bookmark is his true coup de, real, coup de grace. It's rumored to have been Osterzone's final work. As a landscape painter, he had never before attempted the human form. The painting on the bookmark is his only such masterpiece. It's entitled Angel Opening a Door. It is my favorite Osterzone work. Wait, hold on. Tell me something, will you? <laughs> Angel Angel Opening a Door. So you like this stuff? You like this kind of thing, huh? Oh indeed. I'm particularly fond of his masterful use of color. That sounds like an art snobs just rendition of whatever he's uh you know, talking about and everything like that, but okay, anyway. And the title of the piece is somewhat mysterious, which naturally appeals to me. The title contains the word door, does it not? And yet no door is visible. All we are shown is the key in the angel's hand. Could be the door to the soul or something like that. The angel's about to use the key to open a door, but what kind of door is it? The painting stirs the imagination of its viewers. Spectacular, yes? Ostrazone, huh? 
uh, Mr. Hyde, uh, don't you have something for me? <laughs> yeah, he's like, can I have my bookmark, please? And yeah, we were just gonna, we were gonna wait till the last second to give him his bookmark. So, all right, yeah, let's give him a bookmark. Here's your bookmark. Oh, sorry. Here's your bookmark. It was in the bottom of the box. Yes, this is it. Oh, thank you very much, good sir. Thank you again. I am such a good man, aren't I, Mr. Hyde? Mr. Hyde, are we finished? I mean, yeah, I guess I gave you your little thing, so. Alright. Well, I guess back to the room, I guess. So maybe I'll take a rest off for a mind or something like that. What the? Huh? What's that noise? Uh, I only heard a knock, so I don't know. Maybe that was what you were talking about? I think it's coming from behind that door. Which door are you talking about? You said behind a door. Which one? Well, it's room 218, but you, you like, you really couldn't tell because he just said down the room. It was like, alright, let's knock on every single door just to figure out where to go. So, hello? Someone, someone uh, making a ruckus in one of these rooms or something like that? Someone sniffed. Hey, is someone in there? Who's there? I'm scared. Hey, what's going on? I'm so scared. That's Melissa's voice. Hey, Squirt. What are you doing in there? You're in 219. This isn't your room. It's dark and I'm scared. <laughs> hey, Squirt, you okay? Yeah, what happened while we were talking to Summer? Wouldn't we have heard, like, all this ruckus going on in the first place? Yeah, boy, it looks like, uh... Looks like we don't, uh... I guess we're not gonna be able to open the door, huh? How are we gonna open it? Ha-ha! Well, just, let's just ask an associate of the, of the place. So, let's go, uh... Let's go talk to Louie. I think he's still in the restaurant, if I recall, at this point, so... Hey, Louie. I need your help. I need a key. Hey, Louie. Huh? What, man? Is room 218 vacant tonight? Yeah, it's been on a walk for a while. Damn switchboard's on the blink, so we got no power in there. That's why. Aw, oh, crap. I forgot to lock the door. What's wrong? I went in there to get some stuff and forgot to lock up. Oh, no big deal. I'll take care of it in a bit. Eh, too late. Uh, what? You did You did it for me? Hey, thanks, brother. No, you idiot. It's too late to lock the door. Melissa locked herself in there. What? Oh, sweet crispy crap. That's a bad scene right there. <laughs> crispy crap. I gotta use that in the future. It's awesome. <laughs> It's dark in there, brother. I mean, like, really dark. She won't be able to get the door unlocked, you know? And then she's gonna freak. I think we're already past that part, man. She already has. Oh crap. We gotta do something. We gotta... Hey, Hyde. What you know about wires and power and crap like that? Uh, what? What are you talking about? I mean, I guess I could figure it out or something like that, but I don't know. Um, uh, wires? Wiring? Yeah, I'm not an electrician. I'm a detective slash salesman. Why, you want me to tap somebody's phone or something? <laughs> Man, stop thinking like a cop, will you? I'll need you to fix something electrical wiring on the switchboard. Switchboard? Yep, we gotta fix that switchboard and get power to room 218. What are you talking about? We get the lights on, the kid will calm down, and I'll lock the door. Get the keys and unlock the door. Then we won't have to break the damn thing down. And maybe Dunny won't kill me for forgetting the lock up in the first place. Sounds good to me. Good man, cause I ain't touching that stuff. No way, I'm getting. I'm gonna get lit up. <laughs> Go get lit up, yo. You're useless, Louie. You know that. Yeah, that's what my mom always said. Come on, let's get to the electrical room. It's across the hall from my room. Alright, let's... Yeah, now he's joined us. He's joined us in holy matrimony. Alright, anyway, let's go down the hallway there, so... Yep. 
We don't have to knock on the dang door, dude. Anyway, yep, there's the electrical room. We could have checked it a lot earlier, but, uh, yeah, let's go and check it out. <laughs> Hello? Nobody's responding to my repeated poundings on this door. I wonder why. There's no one in there. Shouldn't Louis say something when you do something like that? Yeah, whatever. Too much programming, man. It's kind of scary. It kind of reminds me of, uh, well, Jurassic Park, actually, for some reason. You know, when the one guy went to go to uh, change, turn on the switchboard or whatever for to power on the, the um, lab again. And apparently in the original movie, we were actually supposed to see him, like how he got killed. But I think it was like either weather or scheduling conflicts for Samuel L. Jackson, and he wasn't able to make it back for reshoots. So they just, you know, implied what happened to him off screen. And then when, the, oh, I forgot the character's name. Uh, the female uh, scientist, uh, she found him, like, his her, his arm jumped on top of her or something like that, and you found out he had been eaten or something like that. There it is. Hmm. Well, all right. I see it. It's a switchboard. Awesome. All right. So let's see if we can... Uh, anything else in here before we... Let's take a look around before we solve a puzzle. There's a locker in the corner of the room. Can we open it? Nope. All right, all right, fine. We can't, we can't open this dang locker. Nope, yeah, it won't let me open it. All right, fine. I was, I was just taking a look. I was just taking a look. And there's the switchboards over here. Anything else we can take a look at? Now we can talk to Louie. Actually, what happens if we talk to Louie? What do we have to do? Call hit the breaker on the switchboard. Oh, thanks. That really helps me. Take a look at this. See what it says. There's a cover on the switchboard. All right. Nothing on this switchboard. How about this one? This switchboard is covered in dials and knobs and crap. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's mess with this thing. Okay, so, let's uh, solve this thing. Sorry, I was uh, looking up something really quick. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to basically flip these at the same time is what you're supposed to do, so. What the hell am I supposed to do? Yeah, you're supposed to, uh, you're basically supposed to use a two stylus method to open it, so. Let me go ahead and get that set up really quick and I'll be right back because uh, I have to go into my config stuff really quick to make that work, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Uh, this is a bit tricky because on this sort of emu em emulation setup, it's not designed for multi-point. So let's see if we can get this right. So I need to flip this up, pause it, and then I need to flip like an imaginary switch in the middle of the room while uh, manipulating the the uh, key. Oh, did I get it? All right, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of it's kind of wonky like that, folks. So realistically, you would just take two fingers on your touch screen and move it forward. But I don't have that, I don't have that privilege. So luckily, that's how you do it. So for those who are curious how to fix that problem, so got it. <laughs> yeah, you seem so smug, Kyle, with all the work I had to do to get it to work. Nice work, man. I'll get back to room 218. All right, let's uh head back over there. Do you have anything else to say, dude, before we head out? So, Move it, man. Poor kid's probably balling like a little girl. She is a little girl, dude. Alright, let's talk, let's check on Melissa and then, uh, we'll call it for that, so. Yeah, unfortunately, one of the problems with touch-heavy, touch-heavy systems and, uh, certain, uh, systems don't work too well with that, so. Hey, open the door. Get the keys and unlock the door. <sighs> What's wrong? The door won't open. I can't get out. The knob won't turn or anything. Maybe the lock's stuck. Mister, you gotta open the door, please. I'm scared. But you got the lights on, right? So you don't have to worry about that. All right, what should I do? All right, Hyde, you got no choice. Got a red wire, a red wire, green wire. I guess I'll give the old wire another try. Okay, so we have to press multiple pieces down. So let's see if we can. 
manipulate enough to do that. Oops, dang it. You have to like, you have to keep the, the when you use the touch screen, you have to keep it kind of in in the system there, so. Okay, let's, yeah, it's getting kind of hard. There we go. Sorry, I was in another case of being a little wonky with the controls and everything like that, but that's the stuff. That's the end of the road for you, Wire. You're a good old Wire. I'll miss you, Wire. I feel bad for you, Wire. What's up, kid? Hey, pays for horses. Hey, mister. Now, so what is... Oh, now she's got her crying face on. Great. Boo-hoo. Boo friggity who. Nope, can't open that. I, mean, I know we had to talk to her. I'm just kind of looking around, see if there's anything we can actually click on or examine. Nope, doesn't look like it. All right. Hey, kid, what's up? Hey, kid. Hey, mister. You okay? I was so scared. It was dark and scary, and I couldn't see anything, and I was all alone. Look, I know it was rough back there. But you can you can quit being scared now. I got the door open. Why the hell did she come in here anyway? I wonder what happened. Maybe I can get her to tell me. Hey kid. You're in the room next door. Did you come in here by mistake or what? Hmm. Seriously? Why are you here? Because I don't want to be with my dad anymore. Yeah, that's a temporary thing. It's not like he beat you or anything like that, so... Hold it. What's wrong? Stop being so selfish, you brat. Even though you said you were a brat. Things aren't going well. Having a rough time? Yeah. What's going on? My dad's a big liar. All he does is lie. All the time. I hate him. The lying liars that lie the lie. He said I could see my mom, but I can't. He lied about my mom. Hmm. That's an intense question. It's in red this time. Being locked in that dark room was scary, right? Uh-huh. But you know who locked you in there? Oh, uh, you know who locked you in there? You did. So there's no use crying about it. Especially spoiled milk. You reap what you sow. Wow. Tell that to a child, huh? Reap? That's dumb. What's that mean? How's that dumb if you don't even know what it means? Buddy of mine likes to say that. You don't understand what it means. Ask your dad. No way. Why not? Because he won't know what it means. Really? Well, I mean, it's possible. People don't know everything, so... Hey. Uh, yeah, you're wrong. He knows. Why do you think that? Why do you think that? Because he doesn't know anything. He said he doesn't know anything anymore. No, that's just the drunk talking. He does... He said he doesn't know where my mom is. All he doesn't, and he doesn't know why she went away either. Man, all these, all these red questions, huh? This is scary, man. And your dad came out here to see your mom, right? Uh huh. I thought we were gonna see her right away, but we didn't. Dad said we gotta stay here until we can see her. Hold it. Say, kid. Did you, uh, you know, you stay here before? Did your, did dad know this place? Did dad know this place? You mean, did your dad know this place? It almost acts like his, as if it's his dad, even though I know what he's talking about. Did your dad know about this hotel before? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, he had to look for it on a map and stuff. He kept going. Where's Hotel Dusk? What's Hotel Dusk? So then I asked him what Hotel Dusk was, because he kept saying it. And he, and he said it was where we could go and find out where my mom went. Is this a whole wish room situation still? Hey. You want to see your mom, don't you? Yeah. I want you to see your mom, too. Okay. And I'm sure your dad wants you to see her, too. That's not true. Come on, kid. Cut him some slack. But my dad doesn't even know where my mom is. And he lies all the time. I hate him. Dads. Dads. My mom. Moms. <sighs> stop it. Stop. Stop crying for hell's sakes. Wipe your face and listen up. 
geez, what are, what's with the d depressing music all of a sudden? Yeah, I just kind of, it, it's like we're interrogating her, her kid or something like that. You know, I don't know, man. This is, this is, this is scary, man. All right. Uh, see, let's talk. Yeah, know why you, I know why your dad lied. You know why your dad lied about your mom? He enjoys tricking you. <laughs> Man, I just love some of these mean answers. Now. He hated to see you sad. It's because he couldn't stand to see you sad anymore. Yeah? Yeah, you were balling because you wanted to see your mom right, for Christmas. Well, your dad didn't want to see you crying anymore. That's why he said he'd take you to see your mom. But it was a lie. My mom's not here. Hey, calm down for once. Listen, I know this may sound weird, but sometimes folks lie out of sadness. Huh? Your dad's not the only adult to lie. Trust me. Everyone lies. Depends on how much you lie. Do you lie too? Sometimes. Oh. But when you lie, you usually get caught, and then you gotta pay. Gotta pay the Reaper, man. Pay hey, how? Even if you think a lie is helping, it usually ain't. Someday that person will learn the truth, and you'll have to look him in the eye. You'll have to see the pain you caused, and that's a hard thing. So I'll make you a deal. No lies for me, okay? Okay. Yeesh. Alright. You know, keep going, you know. I know why your mom left, man. She hates you. No. You know, you know why your mom left? I know why your mom left. Yeah, it's your fault. It's because she hates you. It wasn't your fault, kid. It wasn't because of you. You sure? I'm sure about that. She must have had a good reason. Really? Parents don't up and leave kids. That wasn't her plan. Yeah, parents can't up and leave their kids. Jerks, but they can. Send the Forster to go. And that same something wouldn't let her take you with her. Anyway, that's my two cents. I bet it's because she was fighting with Dad. My mom and Dad were always fighting. Sounds like a, a no, trouble in paradise, that's for sure. Sorry about your mom leaving, dude. You worried about where your mom went, right? Well... Yeah, your dad's clueless. He's a bum. Nothing but a bum, Rocky. Yeah, I'm sure your dad knows. I'm sure your dad has a plan. He's on top of it. Really? Yeah, he must if he's serious about getting you to see her. I guess. Well, I bet your, your parents argue a lot, I guess. Huh? Yeah, I'm lucky I never had that. I mean, I had the parents argue type of thing, but it was never... It was never that bad. It was the usual typical stuff that, that parents argue over, you know. Your parents argue a lot? Only all the time. Oof. About what? I don't know, everything, I guess. Dad would always say that it wasn't his fault. Then Mom would say that ha they had to find a way to fix stuff. Then she would cry. That's how it always went. Hmm. This is awkward. What's wrong? I, I know. I'm not a baby. I know the truth. Uh, what, what do you know? That my mom... That my mom's never coming home. I know you said it wasn't my fault. And that my mom didn't leave because of me. But you're wrong. It was my fault. Why do you think that? Because of what I said. I said some, some really bad things. I told her I hated her and that I didn't need her. Well, a good parent would realize that's just her blustering and not actually being truthful about it. Why'd you say that? Because they were always fighting. She and my dad were always fighting and my mom always looked all scary and mad. Well, that's, just, that's just the job moms do. They're supposed to be scary and mad when they get mad. I told you I didn't need a mom like that. Or told her I didn't need a mom like that. And then... That's why she left. I remember 
remember the day she left. She told me Dad was going to take me to school that day. I asked her why she wasn't going to drive me, because she always did. But she didn't say anything. She just looked really sad. So I got in my dad's car and looked at the house while we were driving. And my mom was looking out the window and watching us. She was crying. She was looking at me and crying. She was gone when you came home? Uh-huh. Look, stop crying. Crying is not going to bring your mom home. Get back to your room. Your dad will be worried. Melissa left the room. And then sometimes you have to be tough on kids, I guess. I wonder why Melissa's mom hit the road. Sounds like there was trouble in paradise. Oh, yeah, I forgot the game said the same exact lines for me. Are we going to find out what trouble's in paradise? What other problems are we going to get up to? And can we get up to that danged roof? Find out next time in the next episode of Hotel Dusk Room 215. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.